This is what happens when skinny guys meet cocky giants in the ring. Here's a 500 pound dude who fought the Dutch striker Remy. What a scary sight. But if there's one thing this video is gonna teach you is that you can't judge a book by its cover or size. This was a hilarious fight if I'm being honest. It's like both the guys were bullying each other back and forth. That was perhaps the most ferocious high kick in history. It knocked out a 500 pound giant. I was not expecting that. He was eating them up pretty good until then. That thud when he fell was heard in the third tier in that dome. Up next, 83 kilograms versus 250 kilograms. It's like he was fighting three guys of his size. Royce had to go back to his childhood training to compensate for the difference in size. A deadly armbar that stunned the crowd and made the sumo great tap. You know your field is worthless when such a bigger man loses against a smaller man, and you are both experts in your field. But seriously, it's not a fight when a couch potato fights against a jujitsu PhD. <laughs> Up next, we have Daiju Takasi versus Emmanuel Yarbrough. In case you were wondering, it really doesn't get any more unfair than this. This is like a horror show. This man's a living monster. You can't even kill this guy with a sword if you stab him. He's too big. It was a very calculated fight. 10 minutes of walking around in round one at 600 pounds completely fatigued him. Bringing him down meant he was not getting up again and all he could do was lie on his stomach. All that lubricating sweat made for an easy escape. Now that was a suicide attempt from Takashi. Yarbrough finally got a hold of his dinner and wasn't willing to let go at all. Takashi was really fighting for his life there. Unbelievable, he tapped out. Well, it was Takashi's lucky day. He just escaped death. Now, moving to Bob the Beast Sap versus Tividar Kunkli. The Beast kicked things off in his common style. He rushed to demolish Tividar. But Tividar is one fearless competitor. He knew it was either death or survival. <laughs> Now that's a very smooth move. Damn, that canvas is solid. A proof of the quote, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. This hammer elbow from Tividar just shut down Bob's brain. Oh, He's had enough insult for today. Bob is a good sportsman though. He played the villain for the hometown crowd and let their boy win. I hope they treated him well. Not even sure what that fella ever thought he was doing in the ring biggest baby out there by far. Now for David versus Goliath. It's so freaking awesome how Hong Man Choi lifted Fedor from the floor with one arm. Seriously, you need balls of steel to face this giant. To be honest, at first, it wasn't obvious how Fedor was going to take down such a big opponent. This dude looked massive, but that's Russian courage for you. Gotta give him props for going straight at this giant and just exchanging punches. Up next is the fan favorite, Butterbean, who is up against the Japanese Ginki Sudo. Ginki kept on going for the hit and run technique, but finally got caught by Butterbean. Oh boy, that must have been a horrible feeling. One of the weirdest yet most entertaining fighting styles I have ever seen. Yep, that was the only way to get Butterbean on the ground and hammer him. Now, I wouldn't say size doesn't matter. Butterbean is there because of his size. It's his main asset. I mean that and he's knocked a few people out. To say it doesn't matter diminishes Sudo's achievement in beating him. They say if Butterbean had eaten just three more pizzas, he would have won. But I think Butterbean should try sumo wrestling. Bad Boy Badir Hari versus Hong Man Cho. This feels like watching the good old Dragon Ball series all over again. Choi looks like a genetic experiment of the Korean, poor guy. It's like they crafted the perfect warrior in a laboratory. Harry treated Choi's body like a heavy bag. If Badder was a little slower, 
it would have been a complete massacre. Gotta give it to Batter, you're a badass just for entering the ring with that dude and not instantly giving up. Here's another instance of Butterbean getting butchered. I like the way Bean laughs off a kick to the head, so Mike drops him for real. How's that? Better? Man, that was some beating for the big guy. You can literally tell he has never had such a thrashing in his life before. If your punches are hard enough to make Butterbean look worried, you know you have real power. Mm, that's it. Mike kept throwing kicks at Butterbean like he was a soccer ball. A beautiful finish to a devastating night for Bean. Here's a 19-year-old pocket-sized rocket that later grew up to become the legend Mike Tyson. In just 20 seconds, Tyson's opponent, Sammy, had a bleeding nose from those swift and thrashing punches. Sammy goes for a blow only to get caught by a devastating left hook and boom, that's game over. Tyson had insane speed for a heavyweight. Scaff was a snail compared to him. Here's another masterclass from the beast Bobby Sapp against Peter Ayers. This fight really made me think I can beat Bob Sapp with a fart. Looks like Peter had some pretty high voltage going through his knee. But jokes aside, it was a clean knee to the liver. With Sapp's years of steroid abuse, his liver is very sensitive, so it's not too surprising that he went down, at least to anyone who has a slight clue about fighting. Another brilliant performance by Bobby Sapp. And we'll finish things off with this fight between David versus Goliath. Here's Freddy El Gigante, name says it all, versus the Romanian shepherd Bogdan Nastase. No touch of gloves by Nastase was not the wisest choice he's ever made. He just evoked the anger of El Gigante. But here comes the twist. <laughs> oh, ce croșeu de dreapta! E la podea și e final de meci pentru că este deja a treia numărătoare pe care o încasează. Boom! And boom. These two deadly blows by Natase switched off the bodybuilder's brain and put him to sleep for good. Want to know the secret behind the success of these skinny fighters against these big giants? Well, it's simple. Big guy means big targets, just like a punching bag. But what's scary is that these punching bags can hit you back. So you got to keep moving for your life. Which beatdown did you enjoy the most? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do, my guy. Hit that subscribe button to keep the good content coming.